Science is here. Science is there. Science is everywhere. Where will Science Time visit today? Let's go see. I cut myself! Oh, oh, are you bleeding? Well, it, it was. It's sort of stopped now. But it was, yeah. Well, that, lots that's of blood. It means it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah. And there was blood. Lots of... Why do we even have blood? Blood's really weird. Actually, blood is weird, but it's really good for us. We what? have lots yeah. of stuff in our blood which helps to keep us healthy. Yeah, like so what? we've yeah. got red blood cells which take oxygen all around our body. We've got white blood cells which help our immune system. Yeah. When you cut yourself, we've got little things called platelets which actually help to form scabs. So we've got all this, I had no idea blood was so important. Yeah, so everyone's is, blood does all this stuff, does it? It does, yeah. yeah. Um, unfortunately, some people get really sick and they lose a lot of blood, so they actually need extra blood to keep them healthy. How do they get extra blood? Well, luckily here in Australia, we've got um, a thing called the blood service, which takes blood from healthy people like us yeah. so we can give it to people who need it. So you and I, like, we could give blood to other people? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I reckon I should do that. Oh, that'd be fantastic. You can go and give blood and then tell us all about it. All right. I think I'm going to go donate some blood. Fantastic. <laughs> Hello, science timers. I am here at the Australian Red Cross Blood Service and I'm here today to learn about what's involved in donating blood. I have to say I'm a little bit nervous, but mostly I'm excited. So come on, let's go inside. Alison, yeah, come here. Jules, have you traveled to Papua New Guinea in the last three years? Uh, no. no. Okay, so the needle's in and as you can see, the blood's coming out of me and filling up our bag over there and I'm about three quarters of the way through until it's full enough and um, yeah, I'm just relaxing until we're done. So now I'm all done and it was actually really, really quick. It only took me about six minutes and um, didn't really hurt. So that was pretty fun. The best thing about giving blood is knowing that you've helped people. And in fact, we've got someone here to talk to who has been helped by people who've donated blood. So this is Jake. How are you going? Um, so Jake, what's your story? So when I was 15 I got sick and basically I had to have a hip replacement. Um, when I had a hip replacement I lost a lot of blood in my operation so I had a blood transfusion which is when blood goes into my body and I felt a lot stronger and it basically saved my life. So uh, donating blood definitely does save people's lives like mine. Have you ever donated blood before? I have donated blood. I uh, donate as regularly as I can, so I believe give back to the people that yeah. have saved my life. And so Jake, when the boys and girls at home are old enough, do you think that they should give donating blood a go? I would love to see uh, as many young boys and girls as uh, <laughs> down here and um, 
when they're able to donate blood, so that'd be great. Yeah. And what yes. about the mums and dads as well? Yes, I'd love to see the mums and dads, and um, I, I get my mum to come along with me and donate blood, so yeah. That's brilliant. Well, Jake, thanks very much for talking to us today, and I'm really, really glad that you're here and alive today, and I'm glad that you're such a great ambassador for donating blood. Thank you very much. No worries. I've donated my blood, but I was wondering what happens now. So I found Sally from the blood service who's going to tell me all about where my blood goes next. So Sally, what does happen to my blood now? Uh, Ali, we collect all donated blood and we will send it to our processing centre to be tested and we'll test it to make sure that our blood is safe to be given to our patients. And then within 24 hours, we'll have it distributed to the hospitals so they can then give it to our sick patients. And I was wondering what happens to me. So I've, I've given some blood. Does that mean it's gone forever? I don't have any more blood? Uh, fortunately, our blood does replenish itself. We make our blood cells from our bone marrow within our bones and within 24 to 48 hours your blood cells will in fact have re replenished from what you've just donated. So that's why I can go and give blood again and again and again. That's right we do ask though that you wait 12 weeks before you donate again because your red cells with your iron will need to replenish as well. Okay so I've got to make sure that I'm nice and healthy to give blood again and we'd love you to be back in 12 <laughs> weeks. Okay well I look forward to coming back but um, I should ask Sally if the grown-ups at home would like to donate blood who should they talk to? Ah, they can certainly go onto our website donateblood.com.au and they can look where they can donate at our donor centres and there's also frequently asked questions or you can call our friendly staff on 13 14 95. Alright Sally, well thank you very much for your time and um, I look forward to donating in the future. Mm, lovely. Thanks so much for donating today and saving those three lives. I got to give some blood, got my bandage on my arm, and now I know all about where my blood's going to go next, and I can go back and tell BJ all about it. BJ, 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 look. Are uh, you back? Look, I gave blood. Huh? So, so what happened? Tell me all about well, it. Well, they, they put a needle in my arm, and then the blood went down a tube, and it filled up a bag. Wow, so a needle. Did the needle hurt? Well, actually, no. Not any worse than any other needle. Okay, so they've collected all your blood and now they're going to give your blood to sick people. Yeah. Wow. And you know the coolest thing about it? What? They gave me a sausage roll afterwards. Oh, yum. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think I can have a bandage like yours? Well, you're not even bleeding anymore. Oh, but maybe it's just a band-aid. It'll make it feel better. Okay. okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> See you, everyone. See ya. <laughs>